the benefits of this program will be for the community. You know, it will be in, uh, uh, including the the um, the guest house attendants that will be looking at the guest house. They will have the tour guide, the local people that will show their medicinal plants and other um, forest foods that we collect and how we live. You know, cultural, you know, culturally, and what our traditional beliefs are. So these are things that we want to, um, you know, to, to advertise and promote again. Uh, but we can't do it without the village uh, support and creation of the group again. So I've, since I've posted this post, I've gotten, you know, uh, feedbacks from different people in the community. And, um, and I see that there are people who are interested to in, in going on their own business. You know, they want to create their own tourism business and still want to be involved in the, in the business. So, you know, this business is also is like, you know, not to go against one another or to compete with one another. It's like to complement with one another, you know. So that's how business should go. And um, now, once we get like, you know, 15 or... 20 representatives from each village, then we'll call up a meeting and then we'll give them detailed information of how to go about, you know, contacting their village leaders because um, over the years we have been, we have seen that, uh, you know, Toledo has not been on the map as a, as, a, as, a, as a tourist destination. So now with my many researches and, 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 and contacts with other tour operators, you know, I, I see that we need to create something here in Toledo that is that will be unique culturally and traditionally. So that that will bring people from across the world, even our own Belizeans, you know, could come and learn the way how we live in our villages. Because COVID has passed, you know, but you see, we still keep living. Why? Because we keep the forest uh, intact and we use to, to the forest to... to, to um, collect food, we go fishing, we go hunting, and we plant our crops. And that's how, that, that, that's how so it sustains us to live in our, in our communities. So the idea now is to get these village guest houses where people could stay, the tourists could stay in the village, and then, you know, the, the village people could do like a, like a farm tour, you know, because a lot of us, you know, do farming every day. And now most of us are going into cacao, the, the cacao industry, and other other um, ventures that 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 we see as arising as a crash crop. So that's what we are trying to plant now. Um, now, uh, aside from the guest house, we see uh, a different um, alternative um, approach. You know that we could give the tourists because uh, we have communities. We live in communal land at, at, at first, you know, and then, you know, we still have the land that is available that is not good for farming, but good for ecotourism, like putting your trails, uh, you know, we want to do like a community conservation area where, you know, each village should designate a, a, a piece of land comprising of five to ten acres where we could implement this idea. And once we have these community conservation areas, we will put in like the butterfly farm. You know, butterfly farm is way of a seed, you know. Um, it could be exported, the, 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 the pupae could be exported. And that's why, you know, we need other, uh, you know, people that are doing it to come and teach us in the villages about those, um, you know, invention or, 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 or the business that they're doing.